Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of Ranch Simulator. Ooh, look at that, right at 8 a.m. All our boys are up, and uh, it's time to take on a new day. So uh, let's go ahead and hop in our pig pen here. You guys can see we did add quite a few. We've got uh, three, four, five, six, seven pigs in total currently, all in different stages of their life. These are some of the newer ones here. You guys can see they're super, super small. And then we've got the OG, Chester. Look at how massive he is. Absolutely incredible. So I have been watching it. It, it seems like... The auto feeder is not working for us for whatever reason. I have no clue why, so we wasted a little bit of money for that. The auto waterer does work, so at least we've got that going for us. We just have to remember to fill this thing up as time goes on. But uh, I do believe it's about time for Chester to um, to go to Disney World. We're going to take him to Disney World today. It's going to be a great time, buddy. Uh, you know, lots of walking around the theme parks. Just kind of, you know, work, work off those extra pounds a little bit and... Uh, it's the last day. I mean, it's the best day you're you're ever going to have, buddy. So, I mean, you guys can see we've got, like, you know, booty cheek rolls. We've got, you know, rolls in the tummy and stuff like that. I don't know how to tell when they're 100% fully grown. I believe you're supposed to get somewhere around 25 meat when they're full grown, which is a, a pretty solid ROI. I mean, what is that? It's going to be, you know, $700, $800, something like that. Uh, and we only paid 300 for him. I guess we had food and water that we had to pay along the way, but uh, it's not too bad. So uh, let's go get our, our vehicle, and uh, we're gonna take him to the market. I mean, to Disney World. We're gonna we're gonna you know go uh, go show him a, a really good final day. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not even sure if he's gonna be able to fit in this thing, but uh, hopefully so. We we really I mean we need the money. Daddy wants a new truck, so. Um, that's kind of the, the plan for today. So let's, uh, here, come here, Chester. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Oh, he's running. Dude, he is massive. Look at him compared to the freshies, the youngins here. Quadruple, maybe even quintuple the size. Come on, buddy. You got, you got friends in the way? There we go. All right. Come on. We're going to Disney World. It's going to be a great time. Here we go. Go ahead and open this thing up. Get it closed before anybody else gets out. Are you going to be able to fit in this gator here? Uh, shoot. We're going to have to... Take this out first. Um, we drop the tailgate and try to try to. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess I guess that works. He fits not well, but wherever wherever he fits, he sits. So we're we're just gonna roll with that. Let me go ahead and put our extra gas in there. And uh, here we go, buddy. It's uh, it's a long drive down to Florida, but uh, it's it's gonna be well worth it. Since we are going to the the thing already, we might as well grab. Our basket and whatever extra eggs we have. I don't even think we're going to have that many, but might as well take what we can get. Actually, I don't even think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to use it because I think we're going to buy two new pigs. And I think we're going to uh, to get some feed as well. So, we'll, uh, we'll just pick these up for now anyway, but we aren't going to sell them yet. Time to hit the road. Just a couple of boys heading to Disney World. It's going to be a great time. What do you want to ride first, bud? Space Mountain... You want to, you know, go on the, the safari, see some of the other animals. It's it's going to be a great time, dude. It's, it's you know, not <clears throat> not going to be a, a sad day at all. I'm kind of sad thinking about this. You know, obviously, we, we did like a little a little test run a couple episodes ago. And I was able to, you know, through my, my powers of time manipulation, I was able to undo that. But when it's for real now, we're actually taking them to the market. Look at that little tail swinging back and forth. Bro, I'm, I might shed a tear. My boy Chester, he's been so good to us. Our first ever pig. He's about to make us so much money. It's going to be fantastic. All right, here we go. I'm going to miss you, Chest. All right, let me uh, let me go ahead and get you out of there. Hold on, Sonny. Let's, uh, this this is it. This is the, the you know, it says D Disney World. Okay, let's, let's go inside. I don't know what the best method of action here is. I don't know if we just place him up on the thing or if we actually have to make meat out of him. Come on. Come on, buddy. We're going inside. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, no, you don't. Come here. Can you not? You might not be able to go in inside. Come on. I don't think he can go inside. Uh, ma'am, could I have some help, please? Um, it's a little bit, Chester's a little bit too, too hard-headed. Too much to handle. I don't, I thought we might be able to, you know, because a lot of farmers aren't butchers. They, they raise the pigs and then sell them to butchers. So I was hoping we wouldn't have to do the dirty work, but. It's looking like we might have to. Gonna miss you, buddy. 
I really, really am. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it had to end this way, but I really want a new truck. Heart just, just being ripped from my body right there. Soul just being ripped straight out of the heart. I, I, I have no soul now. I, I my, my pride and joy, my, my bread and butter, my bacon and eggs, or bacon and ham here. Um, just, just completely he trusted us. He believed in us. He didn't think we'd bring him any harm, but, uh, I mean, everybody has to meet their maker one day. So our last piece here in total, we had 22 pieces of meat. Now I know it can get up to around 25 or 26. I guess he technically wasn't all the way fully grown yet, but we were fairly close. We can't be upset with that. He's, uh, he's going to bring us back a, a decent chunk of change here. So we spent $300 on him up front. I would say no more than, you know, I, let, let's, you know, be extra about it here. We'll say $60, two bags of food. He didn't go through all that by himself, but we'll say two bags of food. So we put 360 in, waited a week. We more than doubled our money at 770. That's actually super solid. So we'll take that. That's going to give us $1,600. And that means your boy has enough money for a new truck. Now I was thinking we were gonna buy a couple more pigs and some food and stuff, but that's gonna put us over budget. We're not gonna be able to buy the truck we want. And we've, I mean, we've got six more pigs back at the house. We don't wanna grow too far too fast and start going through too much. Uh, ooh, do we wanna, do we wanna take her out? I kind of feel like we wanna, wanna take her out. Got her, beautiful, love it. Love hitting those running shots, but um, yeah, like, if you if you overstep your growth and you you move too quickly then we could put ourselves in a bad spot where we don't have a ton of money and we need a ton of money for food and it it just it could end up getting pretty bad so let's just kind of play it a little bit safe here i honestly don't even need these pieces of meat but um we'll, we'll use them anyway so let's head it and uh we, we've got to think do we want the pickup truck or do we want the box truck we kind of did a little bit of window shopping in the last episode i mean i I like the idea. Oh, is this it right here? This is it right here. I like the idea of a pickup truck, but let's be honest. The box truck is is way, way, way more, you know, economical. We're going to get more bang for our buck. It's going to give us more space and stuff like that. So uh, I, I was, you know, kind of looking between this, which you can get four pigs or four cows in this thing for 2300, which is incredible. And we actually still can't afford it. Shoot. All right. Well, we're just, we're going to have to grind a little bit more. That's fine. I, I totally forgot. We were... When we were window shopping yesterday, we were looking at $1,200 and $1,400 options, which were the pickup truck and the... There's like a second type of pickup or something like that. I was thinking about it. I think we need to just save up and get the box truck. Otherwise, we're going to end up buying the box truck eventually anyway. And it just... It, it, it doesn't make sense, man. Let's let's just knock it all out all in one and, uh, and save money in the long run. Since we need a little bit more money, I guess I'm going to have to do a bit of hunting here. Not necessarily my favorite thing in the world, but you got to do what you got to do. So I'm going to grind a bit. We're going to try to get... Uh, Get enough cash to be able to buy this truck, and I'm, I'm just I'm kind of excited to have have some new wheels. It's not gonna be the you know coolest thing on the block, but it's it's gonna work well for us. It's gonna get the job done. I mean, like I said, technically we don't really have to hunt anymore, but we we kind of have to wait and pass time anyway. So we might as well make that time productive. Yeah, dude, we're, we're $33 off, so it's it's fine. It's not a big deal. I want to hurry up and get this before they close. I'm going to buy six of these bad boys. Check out, I mean, these these bags of wheat are the, the lifeblood of our operation here, so we just need to make sure we're always getting these things. So we'll, we'll be good. Now we're a couple hundred off from what we need, but we'll, we'll bring some eggs back in the morning. I don't think we're going to have any pigs matured yet, but... Um, we should be able to afford the, the truck by the time we have four pigs that all mature at the same time, and that will be quite the payday. Every night ends like this. Just just same old routine. I mean, we were definitely looking pretty good in life here. We've, we've got a routine down. We've got money. Our animals are happy. We're happy. We've got new, new toys on the way, which is kind of exciting. But yeah, literally every night ends with me coming in here, moving the chickens around picking up their their droppings in each of the coops and uh and going to bed waking up and hitting it early in the morning y'all are nasty come on now you can't you can't poo in that hay where you lay your eggs why are you doing it over here 
That doesn't make any sense yet, yeah, we've, we've got so many eggs, this is gonna be perfect for tomorrow morning. Good morning, y'all, we are back. Let's uh, just kinda do a quick little check on all the animals. Looks like everything's battened up, all the, the doors and everything are closed, and uh, we're, we're gonna take a nice a nice stroll today. We're, we're gonna get a little bit of cardio in. I can't even pick up these eggs. There it is, all right, got that one, got that one. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking instead of taking our, our gator all the way to the car dealership, and then we have to leave it there and go get it at some point, let's just go ahead and leave it here, and we're gonna run up to the market, and then we're gonna run on over to the dealership. It'll be a nice opportunity for us to, uh, to get some fresh air. Oop. Don't, don't fall off there, Trev. Get some fresh air and uh, just kind of kind of do our thing. Now, we got to be careful here. We might end up getting attacked because we're probably going to pick up an egg that's been fertilized here. These eggs are honestly a little bit easier to pick up than the other ones. They're not in drawers, so you don't actually open, open and close the drawers a ton. All right, so it looks like none of those were fertilized. Is our, is our rooster... I thought we had a rooster in here. Is he not getting... Is he not getting up top or something? Is he not not taking care of these girls? I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Long journey ahead of us, but it's going to be worth it. It's time to run all the way to the convenience store. I don't regret this decision at all. This is top tier, high octane, incredible gameplay. We're good. All right, contain yourself, Trev. We made it. My goodness, that was a long run. Please tell me we're going to get at least 300 bucks for this. Let me sell 324. That's going to put us at 2411, dude. We, I, I, was, I was a little bit worried. If we would have done all that and then still not had enough money, we would have had to gone hunting on foot out here, and uh, that wouldn't have been fun. We do kind of have to be a little bit, a little bit worried here. We, we see grizzly bears on the side of the road sometimes, and obviously they can't keep up with our gator, but... They certainly could keep up with us, so we just got to keep our eyes peeled. But now we are going to head from the general store up to the dealership. And I think we made it, baby. Picture this. You're a car salesman out in the country, just, you know, kind of doing your thing. Usually don't get much action throughout the day. A guy walks in, he's got an empty egg basket, he's drenched in sweat, and he's trying to pay you cash for a box truck. I feel like I'm, I'm contacting the authorities if that happens, but uh, that's, that's just me. So, here we go. We are going to go with this box truck, $2,300, bada bing, bada boom. It's waiting for you in the parking lot. Perfect. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you, good sir. Let's, uh, let's get out. Dude, this thing is sick. I kind of want to buy this for hunting. I mean, we, we definitely don't need it, but... That, that thing's dope. So here it is. This is our baby. She's got plenty of room in that, that rear end, which is why we wanted her. We can open those things up and look at all this, you know, fun space for activities. We can throw this thing all the way back here. Think of all the meat that we could fit in here. My goodness, this is this is going to be amazing. So let's hop in her. Let's roll out. Now what we're going to do is, since we're already out here, we might as well try to do a little bit of hunting. Don't worry. They'll never see us coming. Holy cow, we got a, a big buck over here. Where'd he go? Got him. There it is. Uh, yeah, this this thing is, is fantastic for hunting. It can really kind of get through the trees and stuff like that. But I'm just thinking, since we're out here, may as well just try to make as much money as we can. Let's, let's have a nice little day of hunting, buy some more pigs, bring them back home, and uh, we should we should be good to go. But, uh, dude, I mean, this this is exciting. Look at this. Look at how much meat we're going to be able to fit in here. This is outrageous. It's the man in his big old truck. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah, I feel like, the, I mean, the pickup in a lot of scenarios might be a bit better. I, I wonder if this thing just burns through gas. I bet this thing's pretty, pretty heavy on the gas. But um, for like transporting pigs and cows and stuff like that, I feel like, I feel like this is, this has got to be our best pet. So let's, uh, let's make a little bit of money and... Take it back home. Just an off-roading beast, baby. I'm definitely not seeing as many animals. I'm wondering if we're scaring them off. Oh, we got a, a grizzly over there. What's up, buddy? Hey, come here. Come on. You know you want to. Let me just introduce you right to the back of this truck here. Bang, 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 bang! Woo! All right. Effective. Got another one over there. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, come on at me. Yes, sir. I love it. Sometimes I get stuck if they're too far away. He's still coming. 
Come on, big papa. Keep your head on a swivel trap. See, sometimes they get a little bit stuck. But hey, there's uh, eight more pieces of meat right there. Oh, dude, this is sick. I haven't tried first person driving a, a vehicle before, but this, this is pretty nice. I, I like it. It makes it a little bit harder to see animals off in the distance, but it, it, it looks decent. Not, not too shabby. Um, try to find some more. I feel like this is, this is just large scale mass enterprise hunting at this point. Like we, we are messing around. I wonder if we could just run things over with this. Gonna be honest, the gas mileage leaves, okay, a, a bit to be desired. Uh, that'll buff out, don't you worry. Um, I, I feel like we're, we're burning through it very quickly. I, I don't think this, I mean, obviously it's not meant for doing this. Even for running errands, I, I don't think we're really gonna wanna use this thing. Pretty much just use this to, to transport large amounts of animals to and from the country store and that's, that's it. You know, take four pigs or four cows, to be able to sell them, buy four pigs or four cows to be able to bring them back home down that short dirt road. That's going to be the primary use for this thing. It would be nice to, to get something a little bit more mid-sized, like a, a pickup or something for the, the middle ground. So we aren't burning tons of gas, but um, we, don't, we don't have that kind of money yet. You know, most, most of the areas that we take the gator, we've got to be very careful here. We've almost gotten the gator stuck a couple of times, and I feel like if we if we try to try to maneuver this thing in something too tight, then it's it's not gonna be a good end for us. Got a buck over here. Those aren't hitting them. There we go. See, like I don't, we're gonna have to go out and around and back this thing up to be able to get it over to that that deer. Maybe not. There's let's see if we can hit this hole here. Come on, baby. Just make it right through. Okay. That actually wasn't too bad. Now, where's the deer at? Sometimes they blend into those those plants pretty good. I think this. I think we're gonna be solid here. This should be enough to buy at least a couple pigs and and maybe maybe one pig and, and some some feed. Oh my goodness, dude! This thing is just massive. Don't want to hit that fence post on the way in. We're good to go. Let's get it right up to the the deck here, just like we have before. Now we're gonna be able to unload and reload. That's gonna get us 490 bucks, not bad. I'm gonna say, let's let's add one one pig here to it, and then we're gonna do the rest in, uh, in feed. So we're gonna be able to go all the way up to 480. Six bags of feed and one pig. We could not have bought that many things all in one go before, but uh, that's the benefit of this new truck. So come on, buddy. You are uh, replacing Chester. You've got big shoes to fill. Go ahead and throw these things in the back. I mean, this, this is nice. So much room for, for activities. I uh, I definitely think this is gonna increase our, our performance a bit. You know, we took quite a bit just to get Chester up here. Imagine we can transfer four pigs at a time and then go back home with like, you know, 20 bags of this wheat. It's gonna be great. This thing hits, uh, hits railroad crossings pretty nice. Our gator goes flying when we're at full speed, but this thing handles it pretty well. I'm gonna stop at the, uh, the gas station on the way home here, dude. This thing, <laughs> this thing is so massive. You gotta make 30 point turns and it, it just, it, it doesn't make our life easy here. But, uh, all right, we made it. Let me go ahead and grab this. I don't even know where we, it's over there it looks like. Hold on a second. I'm gonna be able to get it to it. Insert that. Start fueling. I don't know if we're gonna have enough money to be able to get the whole thing, but I'm hoping we can. We'll see. $21, that sounds about like what we had left over. Yeah. Well. We literally have zero dollars in our bank account. Congrats, guys. Our wallet may be empty, but you know what it isn't? Our heart. It's full of love. Okay, this thing is so hard to drive. We're good. Um, yeah, our, our, our heart is full of love. We've, we've got all these wonderful animals and companions to keep us happy, and we, we can also, you know, uh, kill them off and, and trade them for, for money at any point that we want, which is, is totally a normal thing to do. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Oh, gosh, our chickens were, were dead hungry. I hate it when you guys do that. I should only feed you at night so I don't have to worry about this, but there, we're good to go. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys in our next one. Things are going pretty well. Really, I just, I kinda need to, ooh, all of our chickens were, were completely barren. That's not good. Hopefully, how are they looking in terms of, I mean, it, it looks like they're all right. They're, they're fed. They must have just run out of food. Uh, really, all we have to do now is just kinda wait, wait for our pigs to fatten up a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. 
We've got a new truck here, which is going to make life 10 times easier for us. And uh, I'm excited to see what the future holds. I think the next step is definitely to get some cows and uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. I know I kind of mentioned it in the last episode that we might be getting towards the end. I did. I saw a couple of comments. I wanted to mention this. Hopefully you guys are still around here. There was a comment of somebody said I should go buy a rifle to be able to hunt. You can't get a rifle. I, I looked all over. All we have on the map is a general store. We've got a hardware store, which is not open. It's not coded in yet. You can't get anything. The gas station, the car shops. I don't know what you mean by a rifle. Uh, somebody else said we could upgrade our house. I'm pretty sure you can't upgrade your house. I, I know there are other houses in the game. They're just not available yet. I guess we could check that at some point and, and see if it works out. But um, yeah, like, I, I think for the most part, we just kind of have to have to give this game some time. Let the devs, you know do their thing, add more things in over the next few weeks and months, and uh, I guess I guess we'll see what happens. I definitely don't intend to leave this game and not come back. I know we've done that with, like, Medieval Dynasty and stuff, but that's hard, because Medieval Dynasty, you're managing so much. If you take some time off and then you try to go back to it, it's just like, well, what in the world is happening? You have all these workers, and it's, I, I don't know. We might revisit that at some point, too, but here in Farm Sim, it's pretty simple. It's just us, we're doing our thing. And we can manage everything pretty easily. So, thank you guys so much for watching. That was a long-winded outro. I'm going to see you guys later. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Peace out.